H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Hi everyone, welcome back to the foundation level course on Unix and Linux. Today I will be discussing about Putty tool, how to install a Putty tool and how to connect to Linux. As we all know, Linux is a multitasking and multi-user operating system and we need a user interface to connect to Linux. Putty is a free and open source software that acts as a user interface to connect to Linux operating system. It was initially written for Microsoft Windows and it was ported to the other operating systems later on. For example, let's assume that there is an Oracle database that is running on Linux and if I need to start or stop or perform any other operations related to this database, I should log into the Linux and all this is done using PuTTY. This is the downloading link for PuTTY. Now I'll show you how to download PuTTY. I go to Google. Click on Putty download. As you can see the very first link here, click on that link. I will click on putty.exe. Now I would run the .exe file. As soon as you do that, this window appears. So if you need to perform any operation in Linux, you need to get the IP address from the Linux admin. Right now, we are providing you the sdf.org for practice purpose and the IP address is 192.94.73.15. I will copy this and paste it in the saved session and I can give a name for my own convenience. For example, my QA box or my developer box. And I will click on save. As you can see it is saved in my list and I would just click on that. This is my putty window and now I will give my username that is h2k unix that is also for practice and the password is also same h2k unix but the password will not be visible and I would click on enter and I will click on enter. This information may or may not be displayed so don't worry. Now we are in the command prompt. Here we can create directories and search files or start or stop servers and you can perform such kind of operations. For example, I will give mkdir, it will create a directory. Uh, now let me go to the icon on the top here. I will go to change settings, click on appearance, click on change. I would make it bold and increase the size, click on ok and apply. Now the size and font is increased, so it is clear now. I will be discussing uh, more commands in my next session. For now, I will exit by clearing exit by giving an exit command. Let me go back to the PowerPoint. I will just review the installation part. You go to the following link. You click on putty.exe. You download and run the exe file. Then you will give the IP address as follows. And once the session starts, uh, sometimes a warning message might display, as you can see here, just click on yes. And if you want to create your own ID for practicing Linux, you can use new at sdf.org and follow instructions. So you can just give new at sdf.org here and just follow the instructions as it uh, as given. Uh, thank you for watching this video guys. Your feedback is highly important. Let's meet up in our next session.